Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a quick, smaller project today. I picked up this gear reduction Sullivan Dynatron starter, and um, as you can see here, the the way it came to me, just like this, without these batteries, this whip here, I was running to a six cell lipo battery, but um, came a little difficult to operate. There's no push button here. You gotta squeeze the original starter button there and it just it could be better so i'm gonna try to imitate what a buddy of mine has with these two uh 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries i picked these up at home depot i think they're actually meant for emergency lighting or maybe um burglary system but they were on clearance I got both of them for eight dollars a piece which is pretty good steal um, cut roughed out some supports here we might try to put the starter in uh, just have to wait and see see what we come with there and I'll be back with uh, with a solution all right, everyone, after a quick run to the hardware store to get some two and a half inch exhaust clamps to put around this Sullivan Dynatron starter with this Miller gear reduction, we have the entire thing assembled. I chose to um, mount my button to activate the starter inverted. I think that'll be easier for me wiring to AGM 12 volt batteries in series here both the black and the red come to this pigtail and then that pigtail into this starter and the starter is wired internally through the switch we should be ready to go 